we'll be starting with the psychometric assessment, like the slides first. Okay, and we'll try to understand more about it. Right, so if we have to define, then these psychometric tests are the assessment tools used to objectively measure an individual's personality traits, aptitude, intelligence, abilities, and behavioral style. So psychometric assessments are widely used in career guidance and employment to match a person's abilities and personality to a suitable career or role. I hope all of these are clear. Psychometric assessment tools used in hiring and employee development. Right? So psychometric testing aims to explore an individual suitability for an organization by measuring traits such as intelligence level, the values, behavior of that individual. Psychometric tools fall into two broadly different categories, right? So the first one is assessing the ability of the individual. And the second one is assessing the personality of the individual. And there will be different kinds of tests uh, when we say the ability and the personality. Okay, so the ability, the aptitude testing, right? So when we have to test the aptitude, right? So different kind of example can include the numerical test. And you must have given all these, right? In schools as well, school or college or any entrance exam, if you have given verbal reasoning, situational judgment test, spatial awareness and error checking. Fine. And these type of psychometric te uh, tests. So whenever we are talking about the aptitude test, fine. So there will be right and wrong, right? So there will be one right answer, one wrong answer, right? Depending upon the question. So there will be right and wrong. And there will be a time limit as well, right? So it will be limited, time limited, right? And right and wrong will also be there in the aptitude test. Now, it can be taken online. And yes, for any test, for any test which you are administering, fine. This is something which is, right, a necessity, right? So if you are uh, using these tests during the screening of candidates, fine. So what you can do, like you have to give it to the, uh, different candidates who have appeared right for the interview now you have to ensure that where the individual is right giving that particular test right taking the test so the atmosphere is comfortable for them okay if you ask them just uh, that just go to any area like cafeteria or any any anywhere and give the test and come back to me after this time period right so will that work? The person will not be able to concentrate and fully respond like properly, right? So whatever he'll reply, whatever he'll answer, if he is not concentrating properly, will not give us that accurate result. And our test will fail, right? It will just be for the purpose of, just for the sake of doing it. It will not give us the actual results. So it's very important that whenever we are administrating such test, we have to ensure that the candidate, right, is in a calm, white setting, comfortable, okay? And he has all those uh, uh, stations if you are using, like if you have given it in the hard copy, then he has the pencil and all those things with him, right, with a candidate where he can, right, do, like, take that particular test. All right. As I said, that aptitude testing will have correct and incorrect answers. A candidate score will determine their level of intelligence and therefore their level, level of ability in relation to the role as well. Now, personality occupational test. Now, when we talk about the personality occupational test, explore a candidate's suitability. So it will, there are different kinds of tests which will be included in right this. So there will be interest test the values, behavior, motivation test, right? All these can be included. So personality tests usually have no strict timeline limit. Have you given any personality test? So as you have 
taken the test, right? So there will be no strict time limit, right? We understand that. And there will be certain, there will be no right and wrong as well because every individual is different. Every individual can, right, react in a different way, can behave in a different, behave differently, fine. So that is how it will be different from the aptitude test. There will be no time limit, no right and wrong. And with these type of assessment, assessments, you will tend to rate scenarios or statements on a scale of how much or how little you agree with each one, right? So there will be statement and then uh, it will ask whether you disagree, agree, you're neutral, right? So on that scale, you have to, right, mark whether you agree to that or not. Fine, we'll be going through that as well. Fine, so there can be different kinds of test which can be there so they can be numerical when a candidate needs to deal with a number when we say verbal okay so problem solving within the written extracts they can be verbal reasoning all those tests then inductive so inductive will be based on a certain pattern right you have to analyze and according to that you have, you have to solve it diagrammatic Again, there will be some problem solving with the sequencing, okay? So that all, and there can be logical, right? Tests for uh, testing your logical thinking as well. Error checking, right? So in this error checking, you will be seeing if the information which is given is accurate or not, right? So there will be some inaccuracies which you have to find out. These are different types of like test we can say, right? So whenever we say uh, the psychometric like test, right? What are the different characteristics of these tests? See, the test must be, I'll say, reliable. Hmm? So we have administered the test, okay, on any candidate, let's say. Do you understand what exactly is this reliable, reliability of a test? Can you explain that too? How accurate? Uh -huh. So let's say I have given the test today, okay? And it's saying that I'm introvert, okay? And then I have taken the test tomorrow and it's saying I'm extrovert. This, this is not reliable then, correct? 